Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to the brand new Match Day Live episode. And now this is of course the brand new series, Arsenal away from home taking on Newcastle United at St James's Park. Uh, now we will be starting the series on FIFA 19 as we normally do, we always play it on the previous FIFA or the current FIFA and then we will change to the new one once FIFA 20 is out. So like I said, starts on FIFA 19 and then once FIFA 20 is out we will be continuing on with the series on FIFA 20. And then hopefully um, Arsenal will be in a good run of form by then as well. We're hoping for a positive start to the season as well, of course. A good chance there for a penalty. Um, and obviously we've had plenty of changes as well coming in and going out. Um, same too with Newcastle, actually. They brought in a couple of decent players. St. Maximum from Nice, I believe he used to play for in the French League. A decent player. I used to have him quite a few times on um, football manager actually so yeah he's a good player hopefully he can do well at the magpies and they've also got gelatin as well as a striker not sure who else they brought in to be honest uh, but those two players alone will add something um, attacking wise at least for newcastle united to hopefully stay up i do like newcastle um, so I'm hoping that they stay up, but I'm hoping, of course, that they do get a defeat on the opening day of the season. Arsenal need to start strong, so we're hoping for a positive performance as well as quite a few goals. No idea who's going to be starting or who's available for the Arsenal today. It will be interesting to see what kind of lineup that we're going to be starting with. I think new signing Kieran Tierney is still injured, so I don't think he'll be starting. Um, he's been doing some training with the Arsenal boys like Bellerin, but Bellerin, of course, is also currently out injured. Um, so only light training for them too. Um, David Luiz could make his Arsenal debut today. I'm not sure if he's fit. I assume he will be. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we go with a back four or maybe a straight back three. Um, of course, with Bellerin out injured and Tierney out injured, it could put in... Uh, Monreal and Ainsley Maitland Niles as the full backs because I think um, who is it? Uh, Kashelny, no, not Kashelny, sorry, he's gone, hasn't he? Kalasniak, there we go, that's the name I was looking for. Kalasniak and Ozil haven't travelled up north to Newcastle today, so they won't be making this game. So, again, it will be interesting to see if we do start with a cam or two straight strikers or like, maybe more like a 4 4 2 in today's game. Uh, with no cam, no CDM, just straight 4-4-2, simple tactics for the Arsenal, but you never know. It could be something totally different. And there is the first goal on the stroke of half time. And look who it is. It is Mustafi. Rumoured to be going out. A lot of Arsenal fans wanted him out. Uh, but he, as of today, he's still an Arsenal player. Could be making the starting eleven as well today. Um, I don't see why not. It could be him, Socrates and David Luiz in a back three if we do go for a straight back three there. Um, but good goal. Nice little header past the goalkeeper. Arsenal lead one goal to nil. We're hoping for a few more goals, of course. Uh, we're going to try and keep a clean sheet as well in today's game. And as I said, it will be a little bit more interesting once we do get to use the new kits and the new um, branding, of course, for the Premier League in FIFA 20. Uh, so that will be interesting to see and I think we'll go a little bit more in depth with these videos as well with the info for both teams uh, Transfers as well of course as Lacazette goes for the low driven and gives Arsenal a two goal lead here at St. James's Park Early stages of this second half and it looks like the game is all but over then for Newcastle Arsenal leading two goals to nil and there are the, the away support Straight through the middle, defence nowhere, low driven, boom, goalkeeper no chance, Lacazette getting himself his first goal of the season. And now we're hoping that we can obviously get the win today. And we want to keep a clean sheet, but more importantly, it's just that we want to see the team play well together, especially with the changes which we have made. It'll be interesting as well to see who is given the armband today. I'm assuming it's going to be Granite Xhaka. I'm not a big fan of Granite Xhaka's, of course, but with Ozil out, uh, Monreal may be starting today. Um, Koscielny obviously gone as well to Bordeaux in France. Um, I think it will be given to um, Xhaka, but I'm hoping, my personal opinion, is that uh, Socrates would be given the armband. He's one that shows more desire, shows some strength and um, willingness in defence, even though he is a little bit... Um, Gives the ball away quite a few times. He is a little bit weaker there. But, oh, what a goal. That is Jolliton on his Newcastle United debut. He smashes that one in. And straight from kickoff, 
Newcastle United have pulled a goal back here. It is now Newcastle United 1, Arsenal 3. And they've got half an hour to come back. They've been able to do it before, remember. I remember once we was 4-0 up at half-time. I left at half-time for work. I came into work, saw the score, and we was 4-4. I was like, what the hell just happened? Thankfully, I didn't see that second half. Uh, but I did see the highlights later on that, that evening. And it was a cracking comeback as well. Check Teote also scoring a screamer for Newcastle United. R.I.P. Teote. Sad to hear, of course. Uh, but there is another chance for Newcastle United trying to get this comeback on, aren't they? We need to concentrate, try and go on the attack here. Just over 15 minutes remaining here at St. James's Park. It is Newcastle United 1, Arsenal t uh, 3, sorry. And uh, let's see if we can get Pierre Emerick or Bomiang in on the goals. Reese Nelson in possession. Trying to steal that one back, just give it away. And Newcastle United back in possession. Here is Meza Ozil. Obviously won't be making the start later today. I did record this before I heard that um, Kalasniak and Ozil won't be making a trip north with Arsenal. Um, so unfortunately we do have Ozil starting. And there is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He's the one that we wanted to get on the goals as well. Um, with Alex Wobi also moving to Everton, I can see Aubameyang... Um, getting forced out onto the wide a few games this season. Um, not ideal, of course, especially with him scoring so many goals. But if he can play more as an inside forward than a winger, he can come in, cut inside, and then hopefully link up well with Lacazette and whoever else is making the runs forward from midfield. So it will be interesting to see how we are going to be using Aubameyang this season. Uh, but time running out now for Newcastle United. Five minutes to play. Um, I will always leave the poll in the top right, guys, for you guys to leave your vote. Who you think is going to win this match? Will it be Newcastle United causing a little bit of a shock? Can Arsenal go out and absolutely thump Newcastle? Or will it be a boring opening day draw here at St. James's Park? Um, I'm hoping and I'm pretty confident, to be honest, that Arsenal can get the job done with a nice, confident victory. Um, I'm hoping we see Pepe as well today be perfect if he can actually make the start in 11. Uh, but at least if he comes on the pitch at any point in today's game, that will be very good for us. And it'd be nice to see him in an Arsenal shirt running down those wings and maybe even get himself a debut goal. How perfect would that be? Uh, but here is a chance for Arsenal to score a six. And it's not going to come, is it? Time's running out then. Three minutes of out of time to play. Newcastle United 1, Arsenal 5. What a perfect opening day result this would be. Um, can we add to it though? Maybe one last effort here. But like I said, there will be a vote, uh, poll sorry, in the top right for you guys to vote on. Uh, let me know your predictions as well in the comments below. Who you think is going to be the first scorer? What the scoreline is going to be? And do you think Arsenal have a good chance this season? of um, winning the Premier League. Quite a few people have mentioned that they'll be in the top four at the very least, uh, but can they go that one step closer to claiming the title? Uh, I think we'll be one step closer, but I don't think we'll be just there just yet. If you did see my predictions video the other day, um, I did predict that Arsenal will finish second in the Premier League with Manchester City taking the title. Uh, but let me know below, guys, what you think the scoreline is going to be. Thanks for watching and welcome back to the match day live series it's nice to have it back we will be covering arsenal's games throughout the season that includes all the european games and all the domestic cups as well so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace